Hi, it's Caitlin from Streets Ahead Style and I am back today with another live swatch video for you. Today I'm going to be live swatching and giving my thoughts, which, spoiler alert, are all very positive um, for Great Lakes Lacquer. This brand has been around for many years now and I've actually met the maker Mariah a few times at Indie Expo Canada, which has been held in Toronto for the past few years. So. That was super fun, she's super awesome, and her nail polish is also super awesome. So, I am going to be sharing swatches of some, I think there's eight or so, eight or nine polishes that I borrowed from my friend Laura at Mama's Mad Skills on Instagram. I'll link her in the description. And one of these is actually mine. And I actually do have a few other Great Lakes lacquer that I've worn or are shamefully still in my untried pile which is like so shamefully big it's really bad I have a problem um, but I wanted to include polishes that are currently available for purchase so that if you're watching this video you can still get your hands on them if you're interested and there are two that are not available on the website anymore one was I think they're both actually gift gifts with purchase um, so I'll note that in the actual live swatching portion of the video but um, yeah, I'm very excited to be sharing this. Love Great Lakes Lacquer. I'm definitely going to be buying more. And I've also included a link to my blog post, Instagram, Facebook. Um, yeah, those are the only places where I am active online in the description. And I've also included links to the blogs or Instagram accounts of some fellow bloggers who've also swatched these nail polishes. Um, they're women of color, so you can check out their swatches they're all incredible nail bloggers that I've been following and admiring for years. So I've got them linked below and I will get into the swatching. So first up we have Great Lakes Lacquer Freeze All Motor Functions. And this is a white base with multi-chrome flake shifting from teal, blue, purple, magenta, and orange. And a shimmer that flows through teal, blue, and purple. So this one was incredibly opaque in two coats, so easy to apply, and those flakes are just so gorgeous and shifty. I really, really love this one. Next up is Great Lakes Lacquer Tender Grass, which is a spring Kelly green stuffed with a magenta to red to lime green shifting aurora shimmer. This one is honestly so shimmery. You can see every single um, shift that's described there um, very easily. My direct lighting not so much but you'll see in the photo that um, you can really see the gold and you can see the the pink right here in this particular photo. The third polish is Making Peace with Past Indiscretions and this is an emerald green multi-chrome that shifts to purple, magenta, red, orange, gold, and green finished with a soft linear holographic and sort of like the last one um, because of the direct lighting you're really just seeing the emerald green but honestly in some angles this looks like an entirely blue polish or an entirely purple polish and I did capture that in the photo and here on the extreme angles when I'm dancing my fingers around you can catch it but yeah like look at that it's just you would never guess that that's also got green in it it's incredible. Now we have I'm Well Off My Knees, and this is a white base filled with a multi-chrome flake that shifts from magenta, gold, green, and aqua, and a pink to green to gold shifting aurora shimmer. So this one is like a sister polish to freeze all motor functions. Um, I really, really love it. It's so pretty, so delicate, and I completely love that it's opaque in two coats. It's so easy to apply, and the shimmer in it is just absolutely beautiful. I love a good pinky red gold shimmer. Here we have Take My Heart When You Go, Take Mine In Its Place. This is a peachy base with a strong linear holographic finish filled with a magenta to gold to green shifting aurora shimmer. So on me personally this one is almost like a mannequin nail. It's the exact color really of my skin or at least it was when I filmed this. Um, it's just so beautiful and it doesn't make my, you know, my hands look red. It doesn't give me the lobster hands situation. It's just beautiful and the linear holographic is so delicate and pretty. I am a huge fan of this one. I love it. 
Oh, and here we've got one. It has a, a swear word in the, the name, so I will just uh, censor myself. <laughs> it's time to write my own effing story. And this is a fiery red multi-chrome with highlights of magenta, orange, and gold. Yeah, this nail polish is awesome. It's another one like making peace with past indiscretions where here you're just seeing that red but like when you see my fingers dancing around you really get to see the orange and the magenta and it's just incredible like right here this polish like it's practically orange it's incredible i've never seen such a strong multi-chrome it's probably one of the strongest these are the strongest i've ever worn personally and here we have these violent delights have violent ends and it is a violet base brimming with orange to gold to green shifting iridescent flake and i was completely shocked to get this opaque in two coats i mean i should have expected it by now because all the formulas have been so incredible but the flakes in this one are mesmerizing like i want a rainbow of polishes with those flakes and that sort of jelly finish because they just are so beautiful so shifty so fiery i absolutely love them and here you can see the shift you're getting like green you're getting the gold you're getting the red they're just magical and the following two polishes are the ones that i said are no longer available um so they were gifts with purchase and this first one is it doesn't look like anything to me and it is described as a slight blue-gray cream with strong red to orange to gold multi-chrome shimmer. And personally, I love this one. I don't usually like those sort of gray creams, but in some angles it actually almost looks like lavender or lilac-y. And the shimmer comes off as really like a coppery shimmer, which works so well with the gray. I'm a big, big fan of the combination. And again, an incredible formula. And it's sadly no longer available but maybe you could find it in a D stash. Last but not least is the other polish that is also no longer available, and it is Nature's Bouquet, which is described as a lavender to sky blue to light baby pink trithermal, accented with hot pink to aqua shifting aurora shimmer, but sadly it looks like the thermal died on this one. Um, I tried putting my hands in very hot water, which is probably stupid, um, and I tried putting it in the fridge just to get them like really cold, um, and it just, it didn't really change from this lilac, but it's actually a really pretty place to have dyed. So just to recap on the Great Lakes Lacquer, I absolutely love them. I love that all those polishes were two coats, like, I mean, two coats and you're done. That's kind of what you want. And um, my two favorites, I would have to say, are these Violent Delights Have Violent Ends, which is that purple with the incredible flakies that shift from red to green. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And then Freeze All Motor Functions, which is the white with purple, blue, sort of orange shifting flakies. They were actually both from the Westworld inspired collection, which came out in 2019. So they're definitely available. Definitely buy them if you're interested in them because you will not be disappointed. So I will see you in the next video. I hope you're well. I hope you're, you know, getting some sunshine and warmth wherever you are, wherever you live. And if you hate summer, then I'm sorry for you. <laughs> um, I'm definitely enjoying it. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.